Hey, what's going on? This is Muriel from the Sunshine Family. And if you're seeking for the right Costa Rica expat communities, well, then I am here uh, to share some thoughts with you. I'm going to think out loud. Uh, I have some thoughts about this topic since I am living in Costa Rica for more than four years right now with my family, with two kids. And there is a lot to say about Costa Rica expat communities and a lot of people have the wrong ideas about it before their move to Costa Rica. Well, anyways, trust my word, I think that you can benefit from my video um, if you're searching for this topic, okay? Uh, just to plant some seeds in your mind and to help you establish the right choice uh, where you're gonna plant your flag in Costa Rica. Uh, but before I'm gonna dive right in, if you never met me before and you are not subscribed to my channel, consider to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I upload new content. It's always Costa Rica related. I am an expat, Costa Rica expat myself, and I decided that I share everything I've learned myself uh, for others to benefit. Uh, and I do have an online business already uh, fully online, so I replaced my job, Dirk replaced his restaurants back in 2014-15 and I teach since then people from all over the world on how to build their online business or how to get their existing business more online exposure. Uh, but in a nutshell about my family and me, here's a one minute more information video. Okay, so here's a little story about my search for the right uh, Costa Rica expat communities. Um, and I was thinking, how can I explain this? First of all, let me explain what a community means to me. So when you're going to be living in a foreign country abroad, like I was moving with my family of four, right? Two growing up kids in the age of seven and 14, and my husband and I, that was it couple of suitcases that was it uh, we were searching for an area where there was were things to do for our kids but first and foremost where there was an international school we moved in 2018 and that was the time before covid meanwhile my kids follow an online virtual school which fits our situation best because you know we also work from home ourselves but we came to Costa Rica um, in search for an area where there was a, a nice international school where our kids could learn and grow, connect with friends, connect with people, where there were things to do that we all liked. So for my daughter, there, there should be horses, horse riding. Uh, for the kids, there should be school. Uh, for us, there should be ocean and little beach restaurants and yoga and a gym. <laughs> And basically also socialization, okay? We are not typically the type of off-grid people uh, who li can live right in the jungle with nothing except for a couple of solar panels and stuff like that. I really know that there are a lot of great um, expat, Costa Rica expat communities living that way and even are just saying it out loud that you can join their expat Costa Rica expat community, they literally are building a community for people who want to live um, in that basically mini world off grid, but totally connected as a community. Now, I do have a coaching program. I'm not sure if you're aware of it, but one of my students 
already graduated student, she told me the story that uh, she lived in um, a specific Costa Rica expat community that was really based on organic food and on living all together. And I reacted with my first response was, wow, that's so cool. That sounds like a great way of moving abroad, being surrounded and, you know, experience the safety of a um, settled expat community. And she said, actually, we lived there for I'm not sure how long exactly, but more than half a year. She said, it was a living nightmare. That Costa Rica expat community, it felt like a sect. It was a hell. It was a nightmare. I don't even want to think about it, but I still have nightmares from it. And I was like, okay. And that made me realize when people asked me recently, so how is the, the expat community where you live, Muriel, in Santa Teresa, Montezuma? I thought, okay, what can I share about it? There's lots of people living in this area, but when is it a community? When is it beneficial for you or for me? Like, I just need to make a video and just think out loud. So I'm gonna share some stories of, of really trustable people that I've heard from their experiences with joining specific Costa Rica expat communities, right? S same stories about people um, who move to Costa Rica and uh, don't want to create something totally from scratch um, of their own. Perhaps like we did, we, we live not in a town. We are basically in between two towns. That means literally that we are like not really connected to the Montezuma community or the Santa Teresa community, but I know a lot of people in both towns. Now, am I part of the Costa Rica expat community here or there? Yes or no? When are you part of it? Like, so I heard that there's, for example, also compounds. People who live in compounds with other people who moved abroad, knowing no one and having nothing, just started all over, brought their stuff and uh, have now all new neighbors. And it can be totally cool. I also heard a lot of awesome stories that people say, you know, um, we do not have young kids anymore, so our kids do not go to a school. So that way we miss out on getting to know the Costa Rica expat community related to the, to the schools of our kids. So we decided to move in a compound with other people amongst our age um, from the same areas. There are lots of Costa Rica expat communities with people only from the United States or only from Canada. Um, and that can give a certain connection, right? Now, and that made me realize that a Costa Rica expat community is nothing more than a, a group of people who have something really important in common, right? So when I think back, when I moved to Costa Rica with my kids, we knew nothing, we didn't know Spanish, we knew no one except for we did one orientation vacation. So that's where we decided, okay, in this area, the Santa Teresa area is a lot to do, a lot of choice. From there, you can go there, you can go there, but there is a school and there is activities to do for the kids and for us. So we found the school, parents and kids community was a community, is a community, it's still existing, but my kids are not in that school anymore. So that makes me, you know, I'm not part of that community, if that makes sense. But am I lonely? Heck no! <laughs> but it helped me a lot to establish my life here when the kids were going to school. But what I realized after living here now for more than four years is that, and I hope this is to inspire you guys, don't stare yourself blind on planting your flag and, and start living somewhere in Costa Rica where it's well known for its amazing XYZ community. There could be, for example, a community that's living off grid somewhere in the jungle. I don't know. There, there are many communities like that. There's community, the Santa Teresa expat community, right? There's many people living in this area. But I realized that you have to, this is, I think the best, you, know, you cannot go wrong with this intention. Listen up. Create your own community, create your own Costa Rica expat communities, right? Create your own group of friends, of people that you're going to be meeting because you're going to be hanging out on specific places, right? If you like um, 
yoga, for example, in her first house around in the area of where we lived in Santa Teresa, right after we moved, we joined a yoga um, place and we did yoga three times per week. But at the end of the class, we had a little chat with some people who were there always or right before the class started. So we were part of that community, that yoga community. And then we found out that in that community they organized aesthetic dance and there were like full moon um, celebrations and things that we were interested in. So that's how we got to know specific people who we can dare, well, we dare to call them our friends now, right? So, but to be really, really part, like to be speaking of a Costa Rica expat community, I'm not sure if it really exists because I, I feel that I'm totally surrounded by loving people and friends that I met since we live here, thanks to our kids. So for example, I became friends with the parents of friends of, of my kids, right? And they are part of different Costa Rica expat communities. Some of them are part of the, are living in Montezuma and they are part of the Montezuma, they're centered in the Montezuma community. And some of them are also in Santa Teresa. Now I go to the organic markets quite often in Santa Teresa. And that you see always see the same faces there. People picking up their box with veggies, with organic food. I come there with a specific purpose. I always get a specific tea there. And, and then you chat with some people who say hi and bye and how is the kids. And some women are pregnant and you see their bellies growing and you have a chat about that. And you know, but is there this is the big question is it possible to be in search for a specific costa rica expat community i personally don't think it exists i think it's up to you to create your own perfect group of people that you have a lot in common with that gives you a reason to meet up to have dinners together to get together to go out together or just to chat once in a while together but also and this is the most important why do you need others i don't care if you call it a expat community or just friends that you meet in your life in costa rica but you you, you cannot do it on your own you need to connect with others when you need help for example when you're sick or when you when your car is broken when you need transportation you can carpool with other people especially when you have to bring your kids to school we had it happen that okay we had this little inner circle of parents and one of the vehicles was down we carpooled our kids <laughs> each other's kids right and you know you can count on each other and that is what i experience as the best costa rica expert community people you can count on when you need help or people you can count on when you just want to have fun. Uh, sometimes I do like, you know what, I just invite my friends over for my birthday, but also just because it's Friday <laughs> and you can just, I don't know, just hang out. We can, we can do it here. We can go in town. I think it's the safest way if you're planning on moving to Costa Rica to not just let your choice depend on an existing expat community, but just be confident that if you're coming to this foreign country and you are going to do your shopping here, you're going to do your yoga club or you're surfing there, or your kid's gonna go to school there, or you know, you like pottery and you're find this pottery club somewhere. For example, that's what Dirk's mom is doing when she's here. She goes to Delicias to do pottery. She's creating her own mini community of people who are also there, right? you can create your own costa rica expat community make your choice of where to move in costa rica where to stay longer term in costa rica especially with kids from do you click with the people who are living there perhaps it's well known for the outside world that this xyz community is amazing well heck perhaps when you are there you think boring people i don't know what to discuss with them it's sometimes it's a hard based or a, a, a sensitive personal thing that you cannot put your finger on like why do i why do i feel i do not fit in well and if you experience it that way you should not make it a problem if you would ask me 
I think you can create your own community of people that you're going to be meeting because simply you're going to live your life. And of course, you need to be open. You need to open up your mouth. <laughs> it is important that you do join certain clubs or that you have an open face to start a conversation. And you will be surprised how many people are happy to start a conversation with you. Um, and that's how I feel about where I live. I live in between towns. I'm not in the center of this town or this town, but I know people there. I know people there. When I'm in need of something, I always know someone to call about it. And when I want to dance, there's always a friend available where I can call, like, how about just having a drink? Or And sometimes, well, <laughs> the parties that I um, organized for birthdays whatsoever were always packed with people. And then at that point, we are a community together. So just be the creator of your own happy life in Costa Rica is my point of view. Create your own Costa Rica expat community. Create your own Facebook group. There are so many Facebook groups related to Costa Rica communities. And honestly, some of them are so negative. It's just scary that I think, what the heck are these people doing there? Sometimes I post my videos there because I see people asking questions related to topics that I cover. And I've had really aggressive responses of people of this Costa Rica expat community group. They were aggressive. I was like, I'm gonna leave this group, bye. You know, this is not where I want to be. And I is not the, I'm not the only one who experienced that. There's other people who mentioned that as well. Uh, so yeah, just follow your heart. Don't make it a big point. You will meet people, except if you live really off grid in the middle of nowhere with no Wi-Fi, no shops, nothing. And you're just not, never gonna leave your property, of course. But there's people who love that. <laughs> they don't want to be part of a Costa Rica expat community. And that makes sense. And that's possible too. But let me know in the comments below if my thinking out loud type of video makes sense. If you uh, had some, um, some, some light burps because of it, you think, yeah, that's actually a good point. Perhaps you do live in an area with an amazing expat community and you want to share about it. Share it below in the comments. I don't know everything about Costa Rica. I'm just sharing what I've learned and my point of view, but I'm making these videos for you and for others. And uh, yeah, please add information in the comments below, share your experiences. Uh, and uh, yeah, if my video was helpful in a way, and for those who are interested in moving to Costa Rica, but really see a financial gap, retirement gap, you don't know how to, you know, to break free from your job, don't hesitate find a connection with me, go to the description below my videos. There's a world of information, how to chat with me on Messenger, on Facebook. Then please friend me and send me a message, not just friend me. I have so many friend requests open. I'm also maxed out. So only in the combination of friending and sending me a message, I am able to find you and delete a friend and add you as a friend and then have a conversation. And uh, yeah, there are certain links to click on if you want to do an orientation um, training about what it takes to start an online business. Click one of the very first links that you see and just take the next steps and, and start exploring and discovering. This is how I created once my online business by just open up my mind to see what was possible. And um, yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm looking forward to meeting you one day in Costa Rica. Recently, we also started to rent out the casita on the back of my property. That's the house of my dear, sweet mother-in-law who I love so much, we're like best friends. But she's just here six months a year. So if you're a single female traveler or you're a sweet couple or a mom with a child or a dad with a child, there's just one queen bed there and it's a one bedroom apartment. It's a casita, it is a complete house. You're gonna be staying right there. So behind closed gates. If that is what interests you, reach out to me. Also by commenting below, just say, hi, I'm interested. It's only in the period of up till the last week of November. So basically it's from May 1st to the end of November available. And then it's high season, then my mother in laws here, but all the other weeks and months it's available. Well, I'm kind of booked, 
lately but uh, thanks to that i just mentioned it but it's a safe place especially if it's the first time you're coming to costa rica <laughs> or you bitten by something uh, or perhaps uh, you are looking for a safe place to stay while you're exploring costa rica on where to live um yeah it would be a good fit for you or not hit me up but anyways i'm rambling on thanks for watching and uh, see you soon bye